Hey tubers, me again. I'm gonna turn on my light. Anyways, hey, this is a this is a, uh, this is a retake uh, video that I just shot, and I listened to it before I tried to publish it, and I realized, you know what? I blither. <laughs> I'm a blitherer. But anyways, hey, since this. Uh, whatever, the corona thing, and like got a lot of guys are on YouTube, and I'm going to be like exponentially getting a lot more questions on my channel about carburetors. And I'm going to say like the number one question is like, how do I, how do I set my carburetor? Because they were, they were screwing around with it, and now they can't get it started. I don't know if it's a weed whacker or you know, uh, chainsaw, whatever. But basically, I'm just going to show you. But there's two different kinds of carburetors. And on this episode today, we're talking specifically about a butterfly carburetor. That means that it generally has a manual choke over here. This is one off of like a pole saw, steel or whatever. And so it has, has a choke on one side. And then the other butterfly is going to be the throttle, which is over here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to explain to you what's happening and what you're doing when you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> and it's maybe we should call this like carburetors for dummies. Maybe. Anyways. That's not trying to be offensive or nothing, guys, but anyways. Hey, do you see this little hole? See that little hole right there? And then you look right, right off in line with that right over here. There's that screw, that, screw, that idle adjustment or that uh, jet adjustment. And there's actually, you can see if it'll focus, there's a little L right there. That's low speed. So we all know that this side of the, the carburetor is closest to the engine. So I say, um, how do I set it? Because I've been screwing around with it. Start off with the low one at one and a half turns, okay? And what you're doing is like you turn it all the way into the right. And when you feel it stop, don't force it. Don't go any further than that because you're just going gonna to be messing it up on the inside. Then you're gonna, you're gonna take, and I usually have, um, hold on, on uh, like one of my, so like this particular one is, is like for this, this, wherever I am, this carburetor has like hexagon screws in there, but I have all the special tools for messing with them. So if you take, you can't really see it, but there's writing where I, I wrote it in here. Set that to a specific point and then just like count the turns as you're backing them out. One, you know, there's a quarter, there's a half, etc. Start off at one and a half. Without even messing around with the high speed, you should be able to get your machine to idle only by using by using this, okay? Once you can take and get that machine to idle, let it warm up. Give it at least one full minute of sitting there running. Okay. And then what we're doing after that, now I'll go to the paper diagram here in a second. What, what we're doing after that is that we are going to make this jet and this jet work in concert with each other. This one always runs. The low speed always runs at whatever you set it at. This one over here is activated when more air goes through. Once you take and you open up that throttle. Now it's still getting from the low speed. And now it's going to pick up fuel from the high speed. Okay. So these guys have got to work in concert. <laughs> Excuse me. Set the low speed one and a half. Get it to idle. Let it, let it warm up. Now we're going to sit there and we're going to take and hold the throttle wide open. If it's if it falls on its face while you're trying to get it to open up, back this one out. Okay, you're going to take the high speed, back that up. You're letting more fuel in, 
right there, you're going to let more fuel in here to work with this. So that now they're, they're going to work in concert together. You keep backing that out until it gets to like whatever the desired RPM or you listen with your ear or use a tachometer, like whatever it, it gets to its maximum. Once you have this set at maximum or I don't know, like lean, lean of peak, anyways, you're going to take in, let's just say, look on, look on this piece of paper. You're gonna keep you're gonna keep screwing it in this way. Is that in the picture? You're gonna go this way until you get till you get your highest RPMs. Okay, and it's running 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 smooth. Then you're gonna keep going past that, and it'll stumble. Now we're gonna take we're gonna we're gonna go back the other way. This is with the throttle wide open. You're going to go back the other way until it stumbles again. Now it's too rich. You're looking for the stumble here again. Wherever it was from here to here, halfway in between is where you want to take and uh, take and set that high speed jet. This is m just the way that I do it. it. Let's just say that max RPMs is 2000. Okay. By doing what, what I'm doing, you're actually going to set it at max RPMs at 1900. It's running richer than peak performance and real lean. It provides more fuel oil mixture inside to lubricate the guts, yet you still have plenty of power, um, all that. Um, like on a, on a blower, it's very easy to do because the load is already on the machine. The fan is blowing blow is blowing the, the air out. On a chainsaw, it's different because there is no load on the engine while you're sitting there with full throttle. You have to take and like put it in a piece of wood and you know have your, your chain, everything, you know, is all sharp, ready to rock and roll. And you're taking your cut through a piece of wood. It's like and it might not have you know, enough power. Does it need more gas? Does it need less gas? Whatever. You have to fine tune it, you know, to what the equipment actually has to do. Same thing with like, uh, like a weed whacker, not so much because it has that string. The more, the more dense the grass, the more whatever, the more it's going to bend the string. It doesn't really load the machine as much. And, um, it's, it's just different. Each, each application is going to be a little bit different. If you do it on a lawnmower, this is just for instance, it's not this type of it's not this type of a carburetor, but on a lawnmower, if you cut if you're cutting real low grass, the engine runs fine. If you start cutting through deeper grass, the engine lugs, the governor which knows that the engine is slowing down, takes and actually opens up the throttle in order to get you through that that deeper grass. Hope that, hope that helps. Hope that kind of makes sense to you. So each one is going to be different. So like this is a butterfly carburetor. When you make your adjustments, start with the low, one and a half turns, get it to idle, make sure that it warms up, go over to the high speed, run it full to the maximum RPMs just by listening and then back and then go all the way back till it stumbles again and then find a spot halfway in between. And then that's going to give you the best longest life protection on the inside of your engine and make sure that it's going to be able to, to work the load. If you're, uh, if you're working on a chainsaw, you got to take it out and you're going to have to run it through a log. You have to take in, you know, lug the engine and then your final adjustment will be made once once you're doing that so um i think i covered it that's what you're doing when you're when you're messing with these that's what you're doing start at one and a half start at one and a half and then fine tune after that if i mean and you can do the same thing you can take and screw this lo the, the low speed in if you feel like you're getting too much fuel it's just something that you kind of have to mess with but after watching this video you understand what it is that you're doing oh if i turn this in i'm restricting how much 
fuel is coming through that hole. If I open up this one, the high speed, then I'm controlling how much fuel is coming out of that hole. Hole or jets, that's the same thing. Holes or jets. So that's what you're doing, you guys. And uh, once you do one, it, it's, you know, it's pretty much the same on all of these butterflies. Next up, I'm going to do a video on these barrel ones. And so they can, what is going on? How come I can't adjust it? Well, you know what? You can. You can adjust them. So make sure you subscribe, share this, and we got, what do you call it? Barrel carburetors coming up next. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm out.